Gertrude Stein, hope we haven't kept you waiting too long. Not at all. Waiting is nothing when you're waiting for good company. I'd say we were held up by circumstance, <laughs> but, but... the only circumstance we've ever known is liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Hemingway's here. Dark is the night to keep a man from his compatriots. How are we, Fitzgeralds? <laughs> well, shall we get started? I know we're all itching, dying, raving to hear each other's stories. Of course, I've been working on a novel, a vampire story. Well, who are the characters? There's this girl, young, beautiful, human. She meets a boy, a vampire, tall, handsome, pale beyond reason. The two, young and inhibitions unknown, fall in love. Edward and Bella. <laughs> my, my. But there's more. There's a man, half man, half wolf. He's muscular, hunky, brimming with virility. And our young heroine, torn in between love, must choose Team Edward, Team Jacob, the eternal divide. You've done it again. Genius. I, I balk in comparison. Oh, hush, Francis. Tell them about the novel you're working on. I can't. You must! <laughs> Two families clandestined to meet in a world of chaos. Fate and fate alone separates them. It's lovely, isn't it? These families have children, the young being the catalyst for their meeting. Together, the two must navigate the most popular journey every American faces, high school. Their names, Drake and Josh. <laughs> Heartwarming, innovative, captivating! <laughs> oh, and there's also a sister named Megan. I wait for the day that draft reaches my desk. Well, I'm timid to follow those two ideas. I have been thinking of something myself. Why, silence is the only felony here. It's abstract. Imagine a world underwater. There's normal items like sand, rocks, pineapples. Pineapples, very symbolic. We meet our character, but he is not human. He is a sponge. His best friend is a starfish. And there's an octopus, but we call him a squid. Well, what are we doing here? We should be writing. What a momentous occasion. Might I add my own? Please. A girl with a double life. By day, a normal teenager. By night, an international pop sensation. The title, Hannah Montana. Wow, a boy cursed with a scar, a wizard. Three sisters, Chloe, Courtney, and Kim. <laughs> and the plot? They do nothing all day. <laughs> genius, genius. <laughs> a man. Futilely chasing his past, a story set in the lavish backdrop of the 1920s, a story illustrating the death of the American dream. I call it The Great Gatsby. Talking cars! Cars, but they talk in race! <laughs> a man, Adam Sandler, he plays all the roles in one movie! Four nations, initially at peace, and all that changes when the Fire Nation attacks. <laughs> everyone, everyone, I too feel the electricity of this moment, but I must say it. I fear the world is not ready for these stories. The truth is always original. Hemingway, which story do you think the world is ready for? Well, I really despise that great Gatsby. Uh, unremarkable to me, but I think that's all the world is ready for. Diners, drive-ins, and dives! 